Greetings everyone, this is Donna Gilliland, founder of Most Training with a very quick power tip on Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. In spreadsheets that are large, it is very helpful for the, the reading of your information if every other row is highlighted. Now, a lot of people take the long route by selecting every other row and going to the home ribbon and using the fill color button to achieve that, but that is uh, unproductive and it also doesn't keep your formatting if you have to insert rows. Have you had that challenge? Well, with the press of two keys, as long as your data is laid out in columns and rows with no breaks like you see in mine and the first row has uh, headings, unique headings, then you're good to go. Now watch. This spreadsheet is about to take on formatting automatically as I press Control T for table. The first thing is a prompt like giving me the list or the range rather of the list and waiting for me to click on OK that this is uh, correct. Uh, also the default my table has headers is checkmarked and I do want the first row to be considered a header and now it's just click on OK. Now that I've clicked on OK, it's still in a highlighted state and I'm clicking inside my data. Now take a look. Every other row is a highlight. Now wait a moment if you're thinking, oh, I don't like the blues. I like the, the whites and the gray combinations. That's all right too. Because once you convert your list into a table, there are multiple benefits. You just saw the first powerful one and that's the formatting that's automatic. But you will have a design ribbon while you are in that table and to the right you have a table styles where you can choose a different color combination like I'm a fan of the light gray and the dark gray but there is a large library here of other styles that you can use now I went with a white and gray on this one on the styles now here's the other major benefit beyond the aesthetics of and the quickness of having every other row shaded for you. Now, because it is officially a table, that would mean that if you inserted and or deleted any columns or rows, the formatting will automatically readjust and everything will be kept in sync formatting wise. Watch, if I decide that, hmm, I think I'm going to insert three new records here between four, five, and six. So I've selected four, five, and six by dragging the row selectors, the squares with the numbers. I right click and insert. I get three new rows inserted, but look, see, every other row is kept in the formatting and you won't get that if you are manually going, the, if you're going the manual route using the fill button to uh, format. Now I'm going to eliminate those three rows. So this is huge just in of itself. And all I did was use a keyboard combination of Control T for table and click on OK. If you weren't using a keyboard combination, then you would need to go to the insert ribbon where you would choose table to uh, convert. There are major benefits to operating in a table layout. I do teach that in a full-fledged webinar, but look how much you learned in just a, a a minute or two, maybe maybe three minutes max at this moment, and that is the, the formatting. And then in addition, every column gets a filter arrow that's turned on automatically now that it's a table. And then you could uh, click the down arrow for a specific field and then filter for records that you were looking for specifically. For example, I may want to see all records where we did business, uh, we did sales in, uh, let's see, Duluth. I'm going to deselect, select all, choose Duluth, click on OK, and look, those are the records I get, and then whatever I print, if I print, it will print exactly what you're seeing on the screen. And then that filter button, which was once a down arrow, is now the symbol of a filter, and when I click that button, I can then choose clear filter from destination and all my records come back. Now I could go on and on with the benefits of operating in a table. But we'll do that in a full-fledged webinar later on. But look how much you learned. This is all part of a new series that I have coming out starting in January. 
It's called Take Control of Your Time in 2017 and Forward. These are going to be 30-minute sessions, and I am planning to do those uh, for free. And it's going to cover a multitude of productivity tips that you can do so quickly and save tremendous amounts of time. And it will be in Microsoft uh, Office products, which would be, of course, Outlook, uh, PowerPoint, Word, uh, Windows tips. And so I want you to be able to take control of your time. I have been teaching Microsoft Office for well over 25 years, and I teach to, to companies and employees within those companies that have used Microsoft Office for years and still don't know a lot of these shortcuts that I do teach in my classes. So I hope you're going to enjoy what's coming out, take control of your time, and you're going to be learning all kinds of productivity tips. So that's it for now. Go back and pull up one of those spreadsheets that you have and try out the control T to format your list into a table. So go try it. We'll talk more about tips later.